yes and then I hit play here and I hit record here and now we're good you're late I'm sorry we had a small mishap here are the keys um here are eyes have a nice stay in Milbar and you in our city you're telling the same story Josh <laughs> the powers of evil are very strong here. I must leave. Goblins don't exist. Goblins don't exist. And remember. Oh, but goblins do exist, my friend. And they are all yes, over the internet. As we are going to find out today on this episode of the BB Live Show, <laughs> the subject, as you may have guessed, is not the fact that I'm clearly wearing a costume, because that's not my real hair. This is a wig I'm wearing. By the way, for those of you wondering, I'm Brian Brushwood. I put the BB into the BB Live Show. But our subject, our real star, is not this guy. As cool as he does look. Is that a goatee? <laughs> are you wearing a goatee? That is. When did you... What did you, uh, you trying to look like Penn Jillette these days? Is that what's what? Uh, no, I shaved it for the Houdini seance so I could have a little special. Something a little special than just, uh, the, the weird fuzz I had going. All right, nothing wrong with that. By the way, people are already singing the Jury's Beard song out there in the, uh, in the chat room. <laughs> they say, they say, woo, we lost 100 viewers, just like that. <laughs> that didn't take long. By the way, that's Justin Robert Young, my partner in crime here at the BB Live Show. <laughs> Me, I'm Brian Brushwood. My hair is the third uh, secret member of the Beatles. And tonight, we are talking about what, Mr. Justin Robert Young? We're talking about trolls, Brian. Listen, the internet isn't exactly a sanitary place. Trolls crawl over each and every crevice. Some might even be amongst our myth. In fact, it's a dark side of all of our online lives that we might not want to cop to. What we're here to do tonight is give you absolution, people. If you thought you were being a funny little jackass going and trying to ruin someone's day, we are going to let you know whether you succeeded in your ultimate goal of being clever or if you are that guy. Yes, the Internet's most annoying pest, the commonplace Troll. I think what you're trying to say is that we're asking the question of whether or not whether or not I am a troll. I'm so proud of that animation. I'm gonna make sure you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna leave it running non-stop. What you say? Hey, hey, hey! Troll troll baby. All right, you know what? I will cut the volume on that though. So the question is, are you a troll? And uh, you know, it's a short, it's a short house here tonight. We got Brian, we got that me, we got we got Justin Robert Young right over here. We have, of course, the inimitable chat room that's with us always, and then we got this guy. That's about all we got. But oh, shaking and baking, baby, shaking and baking, <laughs> like he always does. So here's the thing: if you want to call in with your troll story, because here's the thing: maybe you're a troll, right? Maybe you're a douche, and you deserve that that title. Or it may be that you're so funny and your idea is so clever that you really deserve absolution from Pope Justin Robert Young III. In which case, which he is very, we he of the lazy, like, yep, yep, you're cured. Get out of here. You bother me. Mm. Yeah. But uh, the only way to find out is to give us a call at 866-462-4424-FAR. That's 866-462-4424. Of course, you can Skype in over at thebblliveshow.com, and we'll take your stories live on the air. And, of course, if we like them, then we'll become best friends, and we'll frolic in the hinterlands I'll forever. tell you what, Brian. We've gotten quite a few already in via email. And also, if you want to hit me up on my PMs oh, yeah. right there in the chat room, on that's another PMs. way to do it. On the PMs is where the, is where the action is. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I tell you what, you want to get us started with one of our canned responses, and maybe you can send one over. By the way, uh, Master Webbit has said that he is okay to have his name associated with his story. Do you want to tell his tale? Do you know the woman I'm talking about? What? No, I don't. I all have right. one pulled up from another person. All but right, I don't go, know if go, that's go with Master that one. Webbit, and then we'll share Master Webbit. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll share and then Master I know it's Webbit not. later. Yeah, that'll be fine. Go yeah. for it. 
Share the story. Go. And read. All right. And here we go. This one comes from um, uh, Cooter Jasper Solomierda, who writes... By the way, that's our attempt um, to, to keep everything anonymous. That's not his actual name. Yes. You should, you should say... That's not his actual not name. Not his actual name. Yeah. No. No. If you thought it was his actual name, you've lost the bet to your yeah. Cub Scout troop. Okay? <laughs> Just so true. you know. Uh, go all right. It. Here we go. This one uh, is our first of the night. It says, on AWOL.com, they have specific chat rooms uh, that are, uh, are fan and AIM created with topics concerning everything from politics to religion to homosexuals, the elderly, and the lonely looking to score. You can say I pulled a Justin Robert Young and went into <laughs> each of the most populated rooms and assumed the opposite view of everyone else there, including going into the Christian one and claiming I was a Muslim and hoping to convert them and passing myself off as a 60-year-old man with strict views against Obama and looking for a feisty lady just for kicks. Long story short, I needed a new AOL screen name. By the way, uh, how do you like having your name be synonymous with being a douche? You might say I pulled a Justin well, Robert Young and kicked an old lady uh, right in her think, coochie. What he was trying to say was that uh, he was taking the opposite view of everything, except for him, he wasn't on a show trying to entertain an audience like I do. He took it out into the streets and decided to just bother people. <laughs> Which is like, it's like, you know, people are like, you know, when you watch Seinfeld, like, you can't actually act like Kramer. Right? You know, you it's know, funny you don't how, actually it's funny trying to have those crazy schemes. It's funny what you get away with in, in real life with uh, that you just not so much would work in real life. So first of all, this sounds to me like, I don't know, straight up trolling. I don't know that this. Uh, yeah, this is a great baseline, Brian, because okay. he's in there. This is straight. You can't. Uh, there's no way you can say this is anything but trolling. And really what uh, I think it's missing. I'm not going to totally dismiss it out of pocket because we're lacking a great detail you know like if he had a particular joke uh, in that like he had a back and forth where he was a muslim and he said something to somebody who was a christian then you know I i'd be willing to give him a pass but i don't see that kind of detail in here so i am forced brian to give him the big fat Troll stamp, baby. Troll uh, I stamp. thought you were. I, you know, I thought you were going to play a sound effect. But when I saw both your hands in the air, I realized that you would have to be supremely talented or prehensile in order to make a sound effect here. Hear. I thought I was going to hear a GTA. That's right. Uh, that's right. Yeah, you're right, Brian. <laughs> all right. Uh, Very... So, all right. Now, listen. Uh, we're we're going to go ahead and give uh, give uh, 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 Carlos uh, whatever a. This is ridiculous. That's a ridiculous. For what everybody was thinking. When you are out there ruining their days. In your face. G -G By the way, Master Wabbit actually has a, a rather detailed one. I have not read this, and it's always kind of dangerous to just start reading when you don't know how good or bad it is. But it says here, I've gone to a certain form. By the way, I imagine Master Wabbit is like a 68-year-old a, a gentleman who, uh, who maybe is a professor by day, <laughs> and in the evenings he hey. pours himself a brandy with a couple of, in a tumbler, and he sits down in his burgundy chair and enjoys the BB Live show. And so he says, Master Wabbit writes, I've gone to a certain forum for years and have been the general goofball that I am. They usually laugh at my antics, except for one small instance. And at this moment, I, he's got like a twinkle in his eye and his, his gray beard. And he says, it all started when someone started a Wii Sports Resort thread and stated that their kids loved the sword play and cycling portions of the game. I then proceeded to quote for them five separate game review sites, all which blatantly state that the cycling part was boring, droll, and generally... <laughs> Does he not know the meaning of the word droll? Did he use the no. word droll? <laughs> No! <laughs> this is ridiculous! Okay, okay, As assuming that droll suddenly means something bad. Uh, <laughs> sure. <bull> <laughs> bull <laughs> Which, by the way, I wonder if that made it even better when somebody's reading it is like, this game is boring and droll, <laughs> and then they're just confused. They're like, I don't, I is that good or bad? <laughs> But <laughs> was well, I mean, now, droll does mean boring, right? No, 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 no. Droll means droll means novel. Droll means how novel. Hmm, how droll. No. Your wits. No, no dro droll's no, a droll good is thing. boring. No, droll droll's a positive. No, droll's boring. I might be wrong. Listen, droll toll. What do you say? <laughs> Listen, droll, droll is boring. Right, can we make a bet right now? 
Uh, yeah, I'll bet you one hot dog. I will buy a hot dog. All right. And email it to I you. I hope this is not a crude sexual reference, but I will take you up on that bet without waiting for All right, here we go. We got answer. Droll Dictionary. Adjective. Oddly amusing. Amusing in a wry or odd way. Oh! And you can have your dream. You gotta pay the droll toll now. <laughs> uh, Invisible Man reminds me that the penalty is A. Uh, so, listen, we all signed up. And uh, we, we, we got to pay the droll toll. <laughs> Dro you got to pay the droll toll if you want to get into this boy's soul. All right. <laughs> so, again, well, at least you're a good company because the very esteemed Professor Master Wabbit sitting in his burgundy leather chair also thought that droll. With his brandy snifter. <laughs> With his brandy uh, snifter. I remember of days past on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> And I perceived that the cycling part was boring, droll, and generally hard to control in the first place. <laughs> I then followed the long post with this statement, and I quote, I'm so sorry for your kids' lack in good taste. At least they like the sword play, so it's not entirely a lost cause. I got around two PMs from parents yelling at me, five replies from general people calling me out, and I finished the thread with an even longer retort, covering my own arse and standing by my opinions. By the way, he said arse, which gives credence to my theory that Master Wabbit is a 58-year-old professor. In conclusion, <laughs> kids these days have no idea what goes into a good game anymore. All they see is cutesy graphics, and it's all Yezos, I are biking. Back in my days, we knew, knew, <laughs> we knew what good games were made of, and decent graphics had nothing to do with it. Rotten little tyrants. I, I, I love it because he actually is 21. Like, Back in my day, in 1990, <laughs> we knew what games really were. Dude, no, 1990 is too far back. If he's 21, then, then back in my day is... Back in my day in 2001. Back when, yeah. it's, <laughs> back when the Sega Genesis was but a forgotten memory in the ancient <laughs> art attacks of the internet. <laughs> Jesus, I am biking. Back when I was 16 and Kuhan was escaping the broken condom, is what, is what they say in the chat room. Uh, uh, okay, look, uh, troll or no troll? Let, let us go to the Pope, sir. All right, here's the problem, folks, and this is, I know this is the first time we're doing this bit, so I'm going to have to drill it into your crazy heads. You have to be funny. Okay, this has to be something that you got. You, either you got something out of. You changed life for the better. Or, but you can't just go in there and yell at children and expect not to be called a troll. I'm sorry, Brian. This is a. This is ridiculous. Katie Mo has spoken. All right, all right. Uh, although uh, you know, yelling at children, it's a little bit funny. Not gonna lie about that, dude. Um, I don't know though. I mean, like, I don't know. <sighs> I think you just had to have something better to say other than your game sucks. <laughs> like, if, if, if he was sticking up for a child's game that they had since passed on, and they yeah. were really harassing them, and the parents were getting on their on their case, that's funny. Yeah, that's no, that's a true. Good, uh, that's I, true. I'm willing he to had, give you out a troll territory no on that one. in this case. That was the big problem, is he had, no, he had nothing that was going on. Oh, He's doctor, just, by just the way, picking on children. Oh, doctor just joined us in the chat room, and I would love to say, if Odokta has a story of trolling, I would love to hear his story of trolling. <clears throat> I guess I should share mine real quick. Unless, unless, did you see another one in the emails that you really wanted to share? No, I was just kind of picking them off the pile and, and reading them cold, to be honest. Yeah, by the way, Odokta claims there are no black trolls. Uh... I find that hard to believe. Listen, there are there are forums on, on hip-hop, right? I'm sure someone's got to troll a hip hop forum. Yeah, and keep a in black mind, guy. trolling is not just an, uh, a forum thing. You know, it's it's really, it's any interactive online thing that you do. And and in fact, that's my story real quick. And unfortunately, I don't know if any of the members of this shenanigan are actually here in the chat room right now, but I was playing <laughs> Left 4 Dead. And, and there's so few, there's so few uh, weapons you have. Because I don't know about you, but when I'm playing an online game, right? It's like, I'm of the opinion, yeah. look, we're all adults here. Let's have a good time. Yeah, you got me, handshake. You know, I'm like I'm like those kids in second grade. 
you finish, you know, your tee ball and you, you walk down the line going, good game, good game, good game. And even if you yeah, don't mean it, game. you do it because you got to, you got to, you know. Yeah. Good, by the way, good, 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 good game. Good, or good game, good game. Because otherwise your coach will embarrass you right. later. He'll exactly. yell at you exactly. in front of everybody and, and you'll so cry. We, and never we, get over it. We had, we had some scam school guys. We were playing Left 4 Dead, which is, which as you know, is, is four on four. There's four humans and four zombies <clears throat> and you play rounds. And like every time somebody would die, the the other guys on the other team would just go owned, which you know was like instant, like in your face, like punch to the sack, or whatever. Yeah. And, and yeah. It, and I said a couple times, I was like, hey man, we're trying to keep it friendly here. Let's uh, you know. And by the way, this is this is a tribute to what an old nice douche I am. Like like this is my version of trolling at this age. Uh, <laughs> I, I would have I would have destroyed you. I know if, you would have. Someone was you like, would have. you can't and say so own. I said several times. I was just like, look, uh, you know, hey, we're trying we're trying to have a fun game here. You know, it's it's cool. Yeah, yeah, you got us, but you know, you don't no need to you know act like a twelve year old. And and then they continue like owned owned in your face. We're so much better than you. And then and then finally, I was like, I was just like, and I had nothing. I was just like, oh, you motherfuckers, you don't you don't want to say it again. Let's be gentlemen, <laughs> or. I'm going to bust out the tea party on your ass. And they're like, what's the tea party? Yeah. I'm like, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. I'll give you the tea party and it'll all be over. And and the uh, uh, finally they're like, whatever, bring it. And so I told the other guys, because it's his voice on one side and not the other, uh, Left 4 Dead is really meant to be a race game to get to point A to point B. When you're the humans, your job is to haul ass oh, to I the end. Oh, I thought you meant it was black versus whites. What's that? You said a race game. I thought you 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 were it was black versus whites versus Asians versus Hispanics. No, not exact, not exactly that. It's a racing okay. game. Okay, sorry, that was that was my misunderstanding. Right. I just heard something different. Right, humans are trying to get to the end line as fast as possible. Zombies are trying to stop them as as and destroy them and kill them before they make it there. Right. So the game's really not built. Like I was so frustrated at these douchebags that I was just like, listen, guys, here's what's gonna happen. When the when the game starts, nobody leave the opening gate. And we just have a pleasant conversation without them for the next 40 minutes. And then, like, after about, like, 10 minutes, they start trying to come in. And it's very defensible, very defensible. And so, like, for 45 minutes, at that point, it was a, it was a, it was a battle of wiener strengths. And, uh, you know, like, like an hour of all of our lives was gone because they refused to quit the game, even though it was clearly not fun from their perspective. And I refused to, uh, to stop because that would mean they won. That's the closest I got to trolling. But... That was like, yeah. added, I, it was, it was fighting, it was anti trolldom it was fighting trolling, I, I don't know, is that bad? Pope, Pope Justin yeah. Robert Young, I ruined the game for I everyone, didn't... and I took away an hour of, eight, I took away eight man hours, because it was four on four, I took away eight man hours, only to stick it to these guys and make it not fun for everyone. Brian, I, I, I'm afraid I gotta... This is ridiculous. <laughs> you right in the face. That's because straight up that trolling, is isn't trolling. it? That's straight up that trolling. That is trolling. Listen, it is well within your social rights to get a little trash talk in a competitive atmosphere, man. They're just trying to get in your head, and they clearly did. And you, 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 this was the equivalent of you taking the ball and kicking it over the fence and making them go and get it. That's exactly you what it was. You wasted their time. That is exactly what it was. And those bastards, they had to walk so far to go get that ball, and I'm like, ha, 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 I'm 34 years old, and I wasted your hour, little children. Oh, <laughs> seeing gray. That's basically what oh. your life is right now, Brian. Uh, by That's the way, what your life is. In the in the chat room, Chad Johnson has a uh, has a, a story he wants to share. Actually, Chad I, Ocho Cinco. Now he he goes by Chad Ocho Cinco. Chad Ocho Cinco, do me a favor, man. Give us a call either on the Skype or on the phone at eight six six four six two four four two four or at skyping in at bbliveshow.com. But if you say you got a good one, then I definitely want to hear it. All right, I got uh, I got one here from um, uh, Mr. Beelzebub. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Beelzebub, Beelzebub. Mr. Belling, uh, isn't Dear it? Brian, Pope Jury, and various other members of the BB Live Show panel on this fine Tuesday evening, I have a story to share with you about my lowest trolling moments. I came to seek reparations from Pope Justin for the internet sins I have committed. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I am a lad of no more than 15 years old. But why is everybody so formal with these troll stories? Listen, why is everybody because they're all these sitting, as if it's they're, on parchment? They're all sitting in their burgundy chairs with a snifter. They're like... <laughs> because it's not like you wrote in your initial tweet, Please join us in the salon as we discuss <laughs> trolling. 
Please join us in the receiving room at 8 of the clock <laughs> as we discuss the final points of Trolldom. Great tea and cucumber squares will be served. <laughs> cucumber squares, uh, go for it. All right, so uh, I was a y young lad, no more than 15 years old, when I obtained my first Xbox 360. Uh, I was in love with it. Like many other Xbox owners, I was convinced that I had the better choice of consoles. But you see, there was a comic book Avengers because I was still an active member on the PlayStation forums and would go there and talk about my favorite PS2 games like God of War 1 and 2 and the Kingdom Hearts series. One day, though, while I was drunk, uh, and intoxicated on 360 games, I made the stupid decision to go onto the PlayStation forums and create a laundry list of reasons why I thought the PS3 sucked! I thought they were clever reasons that I was going uh, to be alright with what I posted, but then something unforeseen happened, and I was perma-banned from the Sony forums. By the way, I, I, love, possibly... I, love, I love the fact that he was able to say, I was drunk on my enthusiasm yes. for the 360. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. He was actually drunk, and also his enthusiasm for the 360 was was overgrown. All right, well that's good. Um, I believe he's permanent. I thought he'd be left off with a warning, but uh, it, it, to this day I cannot post there ever again. I've been ashamed of what I've done to this very day. And I'm currently a proud parent of a brand new PS3. I love it just as much as my bastard 360. Please, Pope Justin, find it in the bottom of your popey heart to forgive me my inner yeah, sin. Tell me, so tell I me he said popey heart. Tell night. me, tell me he said in the bottom of your popey heart. That's what he said. Yes. He said he wants me to pope my pants and let him know if, uh, you know, these. these... All right, go, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And here, again, and this is, I, I understand, this is the first time we're doing this bit, right? So I can't expect everybody to get it immediately, but if you're going to tell me this story and not give me an example of the funny things you wrote on the forum, I have no choice but to invoke the spirit of Katie Mo and... This is ridiculous! <laughs> So to you, to you, no amount of moral righteousness or justification will get you out of, will get you apart them from trolldom. Only hilarity. I need to know what you said. Only I hilarity. Need, or at least I need, because I'm assuming that it's just like, reason number one, why the PlayStation sucks my balls <laughs> and the 360 is the best piece of machinery it's ever been built. Uh, reason number one, PS2 is totally gay. <laughs> Reason number two, PS2 way, blows I, PS1 to me, at these night, are totally and they're valid both reasons. gay together because they're guys. <laughs> like this reason totally number valid three. Like, like, could you imagine some kid? He's like, he's like 14, and he got his PS3, and he reads this online, and he's devastated. He's just like, Mom, I'm afraid you gave me the system that was totally gay. I have no choice <laughs> but to, but to return it. Will you please make this happen Basically, for me? Basically. So right. it's like I'm just assuming it's that level of drunkenness. But I mean, if it was just, I would. It would be funny enough if he was so drunk and he was like, he's like, oh my god, can I just say right now, I just had the most clear thought I've ever had in my life. And the 360 is the best. Blah 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 blah. X Y Z. Head hits fucking keyboard and just types nonsense gibberish. Like if it was something like that, and he was banned for it. Like, I'm willing to give him a pass on that, because who hasn't gotten drunk and done something that they really regret to the nation of England and their service during the war? <laughs> like, well, perhaps the international asshole. I know. Like, I, I, Bob Jury is willing to, uh, to, to give you a pass on that, but so far... It's this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'm right, gonna echo the sentiment of the internet. But, but way, what may not be ridiculous is our first video caller in uh, right here from Austin, Texas. It is Chad Johnson. Are you in fact a troll, sir? Oh, uh, yes. Cinco. Glad to have you on. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a, a closet troll uh, because yeah, yeah. We we would go our our main. Uh, we had a group of people who. I mean, we just hang out, and we would just. I mean, we were we were always doing it for the fun of it. We were never doing it to like piss people off. It was always to have fun ourselves. So yeah. I'm pretty sure the very definition of trolling is to get a rise out of someone. But but I don't know. We'll hear your story. We'll get it. We'll take it from there. No, I'll tell you. I think we might have our first pardon because this Chad Ochocinco is of the mindset that I think is is ready for a pardon. So. Uh, please, go ahead. All right, bring it. Uh, what do you got? 
Okay, cool. So, um, this story happened on Second Life. There, we have Second Life is like the best. <laughs> I'm liking to do trolling. Already with off to a good start. People, I already love it. Go, uh, keep going. Going. <laughs> Go ahead. People put themselves out there on Second Life. Oh, they bare their souls and have pink dildos yeah, thrown at them. <laughs> yes, yes. So, our favorite mode of trolling was furries and uh, and just weird people. We like there's all sorts of. I mean, every fetish imaginable is on Second Life. If so you don't know that, you, so you would go to the communities of the furries, or you would act as a furry and and go in the the straight community. Both. Let the I mean, man talk. So often. Give the troll his due. <laughs> all right, I got I gotta pay the troll toll. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> okay. So the night that it happened, we had had an internet radio show happen at our headquarters. We had a little, uh, a little like house set up for for our, our group. Um, anyway, and we had uh, a guy named Neil Cesariga hosting the show, and so we had about thirty people, at uh, twenty-five to thirty people at this show. Um, and uh, and so after the show was over, we had kind of garnered a reputation of doing things uh, in the Second Life community, so we had to do something. Yes, yeah, and so what did you do? Things. What did you do? Uh, Ocho Singo, can you get to the point of the story, please? Because <laughs> yeah, it's because definitely it's getting a little right, right about now, we think you're trying to troll us, so why don't you bring it to a conclusion? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that night, uh, every single one of us, all 30 of us, dressed up as Aladdin from the Disney movie. And so we all had Aladdin things, we all looked exactly like Aladdin hats, bread, and we stormed a sex palace, all looking for Abu. Wait, so people now, now this, were this in there. This is on, online in Second Life. Got it. So you all yes. looked physically identical. You guys were Aladdin all the Exactly. Time. Okay, got it. Exactly. And we had bread, and we had modified the bread to shoot bread. Anyway, we stormed, stormed this sex palace. So people are just orging it up. It is ridiculous. And we are going into private rooms. We are, I mean, just getting in between people and going, have, have you seen Obu? Abu? Is, has anyone seen Abu? Where's Abu? And so we're doing this, and, and I think one person dressed up as Abu and would run through. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh uh, yes. Oh, I mean, that's my take on it, but it's not up to me. It's really up to Pope Justin Robert Young the first. What is what is the ruling, Justin Robert Young? Uh, I'm feeling it's a little. Yes! You, sir, are a good old fashioned new champion. Yes. Truly. Absolution from Trollville. Now, now, let me, now let me explain to everybody why Chad Ochocinco is the first man to earn his way out of troll purgatory. Number one, it was a funny bit. Number two, uh, despite the fact that the preamble took 75 minutes, he got to the point and it was hilarious. Uh, and then what put me over the edge was that you actually had an Abu running from room to room and then and a gang of Aladdins coming in and saying, have you seen Abu? Because the other thing that you gotta remember is although they are fake orgying, like they're in these rooms because they are actually into these fetishes. No, yeah, dude, so they are, are they really graphic, are in state and they really are just about to, you know, throw the dice. Yes. I mean, that's... Let's, let's, yeah, yeah, let, let's just say that, like, there's one hand on the keyboard and another hand rolling the dice. <laughs> really, really, they're rolling them out Definitely hard. Occupied. Definitely And then occupied. all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the there's, uh, you know, uh, uh, 15 Aladdins <laughs> running in screaming, I can show you the world, and asking if they've seen a boo. And, and you just see a little, oh, yeah. a and, little capuchin monkey scamper from room to room. Like, that is gonna go, I'm just gonna say, it's gonna go from solid state to liquid state very quickly. <laughs> and bread is flying everywhere, because each of us had bread that would shoot, like, extra bread. Shoot other so bread, it, that's I mean, what I love. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's be like it's be like I, it's as if it's as if all the most impressive geniuses from America sat down like around 1939 and said we need the least sexy images in all mankind. And Albert Einstein stands up and says, "I suggest a Disney movie." And then and then some other guy goes, "Yes, and bread that shoots other bread." Would, would it be? It's like you did a very good job of pulling that together for sure. All right, you got to go. Oh, Ocho Cinco, do you have any video or pictures of this? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive I know that we took many, many a screen capture because it was just ridiculous, all these, all of these Aladdins. I need to find them. Uh, they are, I mean, I'll, right. I'll look for them. Fine, fine. And See I if you, will even if it's just post. one picture. Okay, Brian, even if it's Brian just... can you give him, like, a free book if he actually gets his video of this? Can we put look, a bounty on the Chad, video? Chad lives here in town. He knows who I am. I know who he is. And I know he'll be adequately compensated if he can get us some Aladdin pictures by the end of this episode, all right? Awesome, let's let's awesome. just let's just say uh, if, if you can get us video or pictures, maybe we'll all chip in and buy you sheets, you filthy miscreant. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> what Sorry, is I'm that doing laundry. Over That's there. <laughs> Wait, what are you in D block over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I have five loads of laundry to accomplish tonight. At All some right, point. well, get the hell off our show. Yeah, get off the lawn. Enough, that, that was about what was happening in that room when when Aladdin stormed in. There was five <laughs> loads of laundry about to go off. Yeah, I was just in Second Life. That's All right, why look. we. Uh, I had to. All right, so so far it's a. Uh, hey, thanks so much, Chad. I'm gonna drop you off the line here. Appreciate it, buddy. Get that back to us thanks. whenever you can. All right. Great season, Ocho okay. Cinco. Keep it up. <laughs> uh, by the way, we already have. So what's the, what's the tally now? We got Trolls three, just uh, pardons one, and we're gonna see. No, we don't count the trolls. We don't count the trolls. We only have one absolution. We, okay, we one, have one absolution. We tonight, and that goes to Chad Ocho Cinco. Here. No, that makes total sense. All right, joining us on the phone, we have another caller. Uh, caller, what do you got for us, buddy? Hey, uh, yeah, I've uh, got a nice one. Long with back uh, troll story. I've got uh, 18 AIM screen names that I use in miscellaneous chat rooms, uh, creating flame wars about uh, the chat rooms and everything, and then uh, screwing with that I was a chick, and then completely like getting them completely into it, and then crushing them completely. <laughs> So wait, uh, if we can portray this in in like real life terms, now now this is not physically what you did, but essentially the essence of what you did was that you went to you get a Brazilian wax, you had all the hair removed from your body, you put on like a sexy corset, you uh, you put on some lipstick, and you got all gussied up, and you went down to the local bar, and you totally grinded uh, up against some some fat dude who's like you know on his third night off right before he has to go back to the third shift. And then, uh, and then, would take him back to your car, and then right when he'd come to the moment to seal the deal, you'd punch him in the nuts and just laugh and run away. That's pretty much what you did. Uh, I would replace punch him in the nuts with soft cock across his face. With with rub rub your what? What? <laughs> I think I. No, I, that. I, like, I would just make it blatantly obvious, like that he is completely fucked with. It would almost be like the end of uh, the movie's game. <laughs> So you would just be like, by the way, it's like, so the whole night at the end, you would just go, by the way, Chuck, I hope you enjoyed me. <laughs> All right. By the way, yeah. the chat room's already howling, too gay. What do you got? Too gay, too gay, Justin. Too gay, yeah. It's going way too gay. Uh, you know, here, here's the thing. Um, I, um, I really have no choice but to go ahead and give this guy a... What? What? Really? And really? the reason why is because this is what I used to do throughout the entirety of my formative Boo years. Boo this man! Boo! Look at this chat room, what do you say? Is this a valid pardon or are we booing this man? Everybody, I'm saying everybody, it's one guy over and over again. I'm seeing boo, GTFO, GTFO. They're saying put it to a vote. I'm, you know what? Uh, okay, no, I'm no, no, say... no, hey, sorry, does the Pope just say, hey, by the way, uh, maybe, uh, you should, uh, be able to get married as a priest, let's put it to a vote, I don't know, pole dance, no, he doesn't, he says I'm the goddamn Pope, I can do what the hell I want, I, you know, the smoke was white when my name was called, and I, I get to make the rules, 
in my Holy Roman Empire, <laughs> and I'd say this guy is absolved because it's really funny to say you're wearing cotton lace panties for seven hours, and then all of a sudden be like, hey, by the way, bro, you're totally gay because I'm a 14-year-old boy in your face. But like, the, that's the, so <laughs> worth it. By the way, real quick, fully a third of the responses in the chat room say, God damn it, Kuhan. <laughs> Uh, all right, so congratulations, caller. Uh, you made it, and you totally two uh, absolutions. Apparently, oh, by, your by absolutions. Way, uh, Chad, Chad Johnson, I think you need to, you need to hang up on Uvu because uh, it slows down our connection. Oh, is he still there? I thought I killed him. No, no, he when was I still say there. Killed Sorry, him, I mean, I, I, he was not, and I, I, I enjoy people laughing at my jokes, so I really thank Chad for hanging on, but it kind of slows everything up. Is he still there? I don't see him there. I can't. No, 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 he dropped off now. He oh, dropped off. Now he's off, which is why you look so good. Wow. I was totally going to call a pole dance. I was totally going to go to the chat room, but they uh, they, they blew, it, blew it away. By the way, you have any guesses as to what the drinking word is? Uh, because apparently the drink count is 25. Apparently. Uh, unfortunately, I know it. I know it because it was another stupid one. Like, it was another one that, like, you guys need to have better drinking words because if it's just the name of the episode... Then it's not. Oh, when fun. I say troll, if I say troll, troll, troll. If we say troll, 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 troll. Trolly, troll, 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 troll. I'm gonna put a kid in the hospital. Troll, 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 troll. You gotta pay the troll toll. Troll, 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 <laughs> so it's not, it's not troll. So, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, something I wanted to say earlier, because we have the, our new catchphrase, the penalty is AIDS, which I think is family friendly and hilarious. <laughs> but what I want, what I want to do is uh, instead of us writing that out, we should just, it'll be like all between us, it's just TPIA. Like it's our own uh, GTFO, TPIA. <laughs> can, can you record a computer voice going TPIA? And then, yeah, and then we'll, have like a, we'll have like a fake explanation means like, that means, oh, that's personal. It's amorphous. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's what that means. <laughs> By the way. Totally paranormal. It's amazing. <laughs> by, by the way, uh, hold on. Let's try. Uh, I'm not seeing the um, uh, Peter. But I, I got, I got another one. Right, I, go I got one it, go that's actually it. kind of serious. Here we go. This one came in via email, and uh, it comes in from um, uh, uh, Jurisdiction Westboro. <laughs> uh, Jurisdiction Westboro writes. I troll the SACB.com website anytime someone comes in defending the state of California employees. The reason I want anonymity is that I am, in fact, a state employee. If it got widespread that I think most of the state employees are uneducated and unqualified oafs, it could jeopardize my promotion capa uh, capability. I call out state employees and wait that... Uh, and waste that goes on in my department and other departments and blast the union constantly for protecting idiot employees. I lay the facts out in an abrasive and mean way because I am fed up with the crap and the whining. I hope this helps for the show. I wish I could watch from taking classes to improve my job skills, whereas everybody working is not taking any state-mandated training since Nobel Netwear came out, and I hope they all get the TPIA! <laughs> and this one, without any... Possible you know, discussion. I give him as a freedom fighter for the state of California and state employees everywhere who are sick of watching the uneducated morons ruin the very America that we love. Please, sir, Pope Justin gives you a big fat hairy. Oh, I'm so happy! I'm so happy! I was thinking, I was thinking about this exact one when I asked you if funny was all it took to get absolution, and you're nope. all like, "Yes, only funny. No matter how righteous your cause is, you must be funny to get absolution from the Pope." And I was just like, "Please, but this one is awesome!" You're like, "America, Earth, yeah!" All right, well done, That's sir. It. Well, well done. Uh, by the way, TSS Holic, during during the PS3 Xbox troll saga, <laughs> TSS Holic PM'd over. <laughs> I click on the PM. Hold on, we got somebody on. Hang on, this is O Doctor on the line. O Doctor, I trust that you have a good troll story, but hold on one second. Meanwhile, I want to click on this over here. Uh, freaking TSS Holic, during the story of the Xbox 360 versus 
versus uh, the PS2 troll story sends this over a dig article saying PS3 equals 800 megahertz Pentium 3. Like, so literally, TSS Olic was trolling us while we were covering somebody's story of trolling. He was trolling a guest live online. Really? Really? It's ridiculous. Really? So you don't give it to him. All right. This is ridiculous. Oh, doctor, what do you got for us, buddy? Have you ever been a troll? You claim there um, are no black before trolls. I can that, what, what, what color am I, Brian? Well, you say there are no black trolls. Yeah, but you're really more yeah, yeah. of more of a double dark. By the way, double that, doesn't, doesn't that sound like like a okay, World of I, Warcraft question? Really? I didn't know. You yeah, saw a black a good troll. Answer. I saw a black troll. I'm thinking this is go Twilight Zone. So if you said that I was white, I would know that you're not my Brian. Right? No. So no. I need to know what happened to your hair. Oh, no, no, no. This is my Halloween costume. I'm still wearing it. I woke up. I slept. I got so hammered because I was partying so hard, being irresponsible. You know, because that's who I am. I'm a single dude in my early 20s, and I was drunk for like a week straight, and I just woke up, and my hair is still, uh, my costume's still on. Where's daddy? Where's <laughs> daddy? You're going to lie to my face. No, dude. Uh, yeah, uh, basically, now, I've, I've uh, had a fever for five days straight, and I woke up, okay. and I was just like, well, I'm going to do the BB Live show, but not going to bother to put my hair up good, so good answer oh i made i want to smack steve jobs in the face dot com i don't know if that's trolling that's trollish that's trollesque i what bashed him it got it got why, why did views you do and then that fake steve jobs no, no but Yoda, you're a pundit that's your job me a, a, a hepo ninja wait he called you a ninja uh fake steve jobs found it and uh called me a black hippo ninja and said that he would fix the iphone that I wouldn't smack him in the face. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And I actually, I actually, I told him I promised that I'd take the site down after we got copy paste on the iPhone and MMS messaging. So now the, the website is dead. But <laughs> I actually got to fake Steve Jobs, and he wrote a whole article about me. And the site flew the roof. It got like twelve thousand hits in two days. Let's do this. Uh, Pope Justin Robert Young the first. What say you in the matter of Odakta versus Fake Steve Jobs? Hey! Money, baby. Money, baby. We're on a roll. Look at that! I can't believe it. A dobonanza. By the way, I just saw the rough cuts. Let me tell this one to the chat room real quick. I saw the rough yeah. cuts to a, to a couple of the Scam School episodes coming up. And I and I for, totally forgot I said this, but during one of the shoots, I full on say like somebody did something, and I reacted by going a dopanza. <laughs> <laughs> like it's wow. a common saying that everybody says. A dopanza. Wow. You are. <laughs> Dude, all right, so that means that you got to sneak in uh, a This Is Redonkulous and a TPIA before the end of the year in terms of scam school shooting. Dude, if I sneak in a TPIA, that's going to be pretty huge. I'm going to need some serious love for the Dude, general. we need, a, I, I swear to God, if somebody on my cafe press makes a TPIA shirt, just like a, a red shirt in black letters that just says TPIA, I will definitely wear it. Every time I'm on the show. You know what? If you made one, if you like disguised it fancy enough, you've seen the kind of shirts I wear. If you got, so, if you make a shirt that looks like that, and and we have it printed, and it just says TPIA on there, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll try to wear that on a scam school. That would be. I'm not gonna lie. Because it'll look a like a epic. college shirt or something. Yeah, yeah, like, like, a, like a college like a, like radio, a, like a college radio station, like my favorite college radio yeah. station, TPIA. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, I know, I know. There's hey, W and right, there's K. Right. What's up? What, what's up? What Hang on. Says... Oh, doctors, chime in. What, what do you got for us? Oh, doctors, go for it. Invest in a hat, bro. No. You're embarrassing yourself. No, hats have shadows, and then I'll look like this, and I'll be like, Hello, governor. I'm I'll suddenly British. I'll turn your hat British. to the back like the B-boy stance. I'm suddenly British. Yeah. Justin Robert Young's rocking you know a hat. He's gangster. Let's do this. I'd, I'd rather oh, look is, like this is, for the rest of the show. Is, wow. I suddenly Whoa. I suddenly look exactly That's like bad. Jay. Like, oh, my God. Like, it's dude, dude, dude. It's suddenly, uh, I'm uh, suddenly Jay. Oh. What? Uh, T TSS Hall says uh, the Pennsylvania God. Institute of Astrology is oh. TBIA. <laughs> the, 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 the Pennsylvania Institute of Astrology? Yeah. What are those dudes' names? I don't know. Oh my God, Silent Wood has it. You look like Jay. I, that's what I just said. I'm the butter brother. I suddenly look like there Jay. There we go. Brothers. Sorry. I what? didn't hear that because I don't listen what to head? you. What head? There what? it is. There what? It is. All right, look. Now. 
Beavis hey. and Butthead. All right, I'm out. Dude, I'm going to let you go. All right, take care, old doctor. All right. <clears throat> Bye, old doctor. I love you. I mean, now I can do moon, now bro. I can do a J impression at any time. Hold on, ready? Okay, hold on. I'm Brian. I'm Brian. I'm Brian. And then, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I'm Jay. Talk on your phone. Talk on your phone. Hold on. Laugh. Hold on. There's a live stream. Hold on. Ah, you know, he's doing a live stream right now. I don't have. I don't know. It's tough to. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. This next one comes from the uh, emails that were sent in, and it is written by Distillery Factory. Distillery Factory writes this one in. A few years back, I used to go into chat rooms, get the whole setup, webcam, max, random video of a girl doing whatever it may have been, play it for the person on the other end, and say I'd give them another show for money. I didn't make much money off this, but my friend who actually met by doing this, I taught him how, and he made a couple thousand every couple weeks. So for those who don't get it, he would uh, pretend like he was a sexy lady, and she would do a fun little webcam thing for them. Maybe let's say I don't I don't you know, when you say fun little webcam thing you mean like they would they would play Boggle or Parcheesi or I mean Whist. in in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an anatomical sense she was doing the contra code downstairs like you know <laughs> she, uh, up down up down <laughs> left right left right <laughs> BA select start uh, that was happening in yeah. rapid succession uh, yeah. downstairs so uh, yeah he would uh, make money off this which, uh, I'll tell you what, I think it's particularly funny. I think on some level it's dishonest. But when it comes down to it... On some level? On some level it's dishonest. On some level. Like, I'm not sure where that line is, but apparently it's barely over it. What say you, Pope Justin Roberts Young? For this reason, spot. Brian. For you, this reason, you have. He a, gave them. He gave them what they wanted. They wanted to see a girl hitting the contra code, and the contra code got hit. All right, unlimited lives, unlimited weapons, <laughs> unlimited uh, lives, money changed lost hands. on the in the middle of a Kleenex and thrown in the trash. You caused the non-birth of millions, my friend. Okay, yeah, so you so you go ahead, you go see a Pixar movie, and you scream, there really wasn't an old man and a young boy who floated in a house. This is horse apples. No, you don't. You, they bought into the fantasy, and they paid money for it. How can I get in on this guy's action, man? He, he ran a carnival. Maybe he ran a carnival. I like that. You know what? That's what I'm going to call it with the missus now. I'm like, hey, baby, I'm uh, running a carnival if you want to hop, hop on board. So, I don't know. All right, we are, you know, uh, oh, hang on. I, I like how you lost faith in that analogy halfway through. <laughs> hang on, hold on. Uh, Colin, joining us on the line is Bonnie, the Invisible Wife. Bonnie, what is going on? <laughs> well, I was just you, totally inspired you a fan of the by carnival? Last... Hey, Hope sweetie, you want to go to the carnival? Do you want to go to the carnival? <laughs> because I was listening to another podcast about how people get really aroused by making bologna sandwiches. <laughs> And I was thinking, I could do that on the computer. <laughs> oh, you're saying when I go out on the road, you can that use... That studio's not being used. The BB Live Show studio. Listen, sweetheart, I'll tell you this much. If there's money in it, you make those sexy <laughs> bologna sandwiches all night long. <laughs> and you make us so rich I can afford a proper studio that doesn't have a closet <laughs> in the background. And <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll have to set up that PayPal account, baloney.com or something. Baloney. <laughs> yeah, uh, chat room, we need to figure out what this website is. Sexy, sexy baloney.com. <laughs> <laughs> bye. All right, bye. Hold on, look, already, already. You know what? Here's the amazing crowdsourcing that happens when people, like, like detect these moments from the BB Live show, we like they automatically archive them and put it together. Somebody already posted a link to this screen grab. How fast, how fast are they <laughs> on that? Like joining us on the phone is the butter brother, Jay Brushwood. Jay Brushwood, what's hey! going on? <laughs> 
Wait, wait, by the way, I have I have something that somebody just passed out of the chat room. Hold on. Wait, wait, go to you. I'll I'll, I'll switch to it and you can uh, wait, switch go, back to go me. Go to me and, and the Butter Brother. We're like, well, hello, Jay. What's the latest with the job search since the loss <laughs> of Duke Nukem Forever? <laughs> and he says, the <laughs> Unfortunately, what he wrote was the penality is a. <laughs> oh, oh my God, he did! <laughs> he wrote the penality. <laughs> no one said. No one said our, uh, our, our our chat room viewers were as grammatically correct as they were. No, but quick on the draw. you know what? They were true. Uh, whether or not uh, they were true in grammatical fact, they were true in the hearts of the BB Live Show, and that's what really mar uh, <laughs> matters. Holy cow! Um, <clears throat> uh, all right, so look, do we have any more? Or are we gonna wrap this thing up? This is a hell of a this is a hell of a bang up job. T T P I A. T P I A. T P I A. Uh, all right, now I'm done with the oh, email. Somebody, think... somebody actually called in on Skype, and we don't have them sending video yet. Whoever called us on Skype, send us video, and we'll get you on the air here. What do you got for us, boss? And. Uh, person has been on here the entire time which is like what if it was like a random person who thought he was calling you know a lonely hearts club and then all of a sudden <laughs> he's listening to this this travesty here personified are uh, you there bud i'm about to drop you off unless you go all right bye all right uh personified uh hit my pms hold on all right here we go he, uh, he wrote this uh i have a great story about a prepubescent australian boy that i trolled on a ventrilo server <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Number All right, hold one. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. stop there hang on, hang on. and use that as the prefix for every story from here on out. <laughs> this <laughs> is the news somebody, uh, you know, raped and killed a girl is in that, 1990. Is, is, is there any dialogue? Is there any dialogue on this one between the two of them? Like, does he write dialogue? Uh, no. He... No, he doesn't. Uh, mm. Let me just finish it. Um... All right, so I, I, I again begin from the beginning. Uh, I have a great story about a prepubescent Australian boy I trolled on a Ventrilo server. I was trying to help get him laid, and the stuff got out of hand. I prefer to call in with it. Uh, there's a lot of important details, but the story gets massive last number I tell it. Okay, so he, he wants to call in, so I guess just call in. Dude, uh, yeah, definitely call in. I don't know why he lost it, but... Uh, uh, oh, here we go. He sent it... Uh, yeah, no, he sent it over... I guess I'll call him and see if I can get him to call in. And get words on here. I'm calling him. Wait for it. Ringing. Which is too bad, because I wish there was dialogue, because then we could act it out. And I could be the prepubescent. Prepubescent? Australian, Australian boy. Australian boy. Oh, Trips on hey, the body. Hey, oh, hello, I, I, I love talk him to the Yanks. Crocodile. On my ventrilo You guys actually have the voice pretty much perfect. Just hey. Yeah, personified, it's me, a prepubescent boy from Australia. I've come to... Wreak havoc and revenge upon you, sir. What's up? Uh, hey, what's up? Hey. All right, so so I'm, I have the story. I'm very angry. Uh, I'm very angry <laughs> about what you did to troll me before. Could you, <laughs> could you please remind me of how that went? For the record, you got the voice down, perfect. But anyway. I know I've got uh, the voice down. I was born with the voice and the accent down here in Australia. It's getting uh, more and more old woman by the second, by the way, <laughs> your impression. It's sliding dangerously go, into pensioner. Go have sex with your mum, Justin Robert Young. Go <laughs> personified. <laughs> please tell the story. All right, so there was a dark time okay, in my life. Uh, you heard Agatha the Christie, that. please. <laughs> go, and, uh, go ahead, keep as going. A part of that, Alright, I spent a lot of time on uh, Ventrilo servers and whatnot, and there was this one kid who was, I think, 13 or 14 years old, and he was from Australia, he had this thick accent, he was basically asking to be trolled. But anyway, there was one night, and I forget why I was up till like 4 a.m. playing World of Warcraft. By the way, by the way, was. that intro is the equivalent of the frat boy saying, dude, look at the way she's looked. You know, look at the way that creepy bested boy is from Australia and wants to know about girls. He's asking to be trolled. He likes it. He's going to tell his friends. Go ahead. Go. Keep keep going. All right, so, I already, so I already trolled the guy lightly before, but nothing too serious. But it was one Did night. Did you just say like you trolled him here. lightly before? Yeah. You know, Why does that sound like it, you got to second like... base and you went back for a... Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I will not Troll talk again. Go me. ahead. Go ahead. But anyway, uh, so it was like 4 a.m., some normal time in Australia. I don't know what the hell their time zone is, but this guy is on there and he's on there with like his his female friend, friend of the family, something like that, is with him. And me being up at 4 a.m. and just like, all right, I'm gonna get this kid laid. 
and like I was, you know, I was trying to suggest that, and I was slowly getting, I was, I'm gonna help. I was like, I'm gonna help this kid out, and he's getting like super flustered, and he's like, I, I don't know what to do. What's going on here? He's being so weird. This is weird. But meanwhile, the girl is totally into it. Let me like. I can, I can say for a fact. So, so you're like you're like telling him to do stuff. You're like you know as you you pretend to be the the second troll behind the bush, and you're like as part I of this video game, I command you touch a boob of a girl next to you Im immediately. I'm just you know I'm asking him about his friend. I'm like oh yeah, what's going on between you guys? I'm you know I'm trying to play a little matchmaker. I started innocent, and then as it, as it went on, it got a bit ridiculous. And this kid's just like eh, I don't know why you're saying all this to me. I don't know what to do. And Meanwhile, the girl, like you know, his friend is totally down with it. Be my friend, who I was playing with, is just like laughing like crazy the whole time. And meanwhile, he's like going crazy. He's like going crazy, and then that eventually ended. And I don't quite remember how because that was really late at night. But a couple of days later, he's on again, and I'm like, "Hey, what's, what happened with you and that girl?" And he's, he's like, "I'm now with Daddy. <laughs> she's she's pregnant with my child." <laughs> sadly, no, he never he never made a move. He needs uh he needs more guts, but. On that time, it was a more normal time, like over here. So there was a now, bunch of people. This is interesting. On there. Okay, Pope. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. the Pope, Justin Robert Young, the Pope of the Troll. I uh, have a very important question. I've traveled a very long way to ask you a question. I, I bend the knee to you, sire. I have a friend who uh, seems to have been trying to do the right thing, but in doing so, may have trolled and caused an uncomfortable situation in a certain prepubescent Australian boy. His heart was in the right place. He meant to get the boy, I guess, to second base or something. But uh, in doing so, caused a great deal of trolling. Will you, in your absolutionist, in in your absol absolvent, if you could be absolvent enough to absolute? God! Yes, sir. This is ridiculous. <gasps> Never oh! mind yourself. With the dongles of 14-year-old Australian boys. Keep to your own side of the street. You ain't got to bother with whether this kid's going to get a little stank on his hang low on a ventrilo server. You're a troll, and you always will be. <laughs> Mr. The Pope, I, I implore you. His heart was in the right place. I think he really meant to... Cut! GTFO. Of course, sire. I apologize. Do you hear that, collar? Hit the bricks. Yeah, I'm a troll. The I'm Pope a never loved dirty you. Troll. Get the hell out of here. Your Pope thinks you're I a wish, douche. I wish I had a better uh, thing for you, but here's the thing. Like, you know, uh, he, uh, his heart, I guess, was in the right place, but, uh, you know, really, what good did he do? He, no. he ruined a young Australian boy's life, and now he's just going to go around using yous where he should just right, have hold on, real quick, I want to check in. Crazy Our stuff. drink count is now up to 9,000, so I don't know what the <laughs> word was that I said, but apparently I crossed some dark place that didn't ever belong to me, Frost. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, all right, here, I, I have one more thing, uh, but, uh, unless we have another Yeah, uh, we have a caller. We have a caller on the air, and in fact, he's actually sending video to us right now. You want me to go ahead and take this? Okay, okay, then, then, then here, real quick, before we bring him on, there's a quick one. Uh, this is a live trolling thing, uh, but it's from Uncle Willie, who PMs me and says, I was an airborne infantryman in the U.S. Army, and I had a first sergeant who would constantly tell us <laughs> that like, we had to be like the Spartans. I went and trolled the enemy by, you know, shooting them in the faces and killing them <laughs> where they stood. Am I a troll? <laughs> go ahead. Uh, well, he says, this is way before 300. But he would uh, try and motivate us by telling us all these stories about the Spartan army and how tough they were. One day I got sick of it and asked, you know all the Spartans were gay, right, First Sergeant? They used to sleep with each other to build a uh, spirit decor. And that was the end of the Spartan talks. And that's the end of his PM. <laughs> Is that trolling, though? He sort of took it up. He'd be like, oh, what's this you're flinging to my face? How you like it in your face? You want to know why, Brian? Why? Because they were gay. <laughs> they were gay. And if he was a better first sergeant, he would have said, yes, of course they were gay. Now, get fingering. But, <laughs> yes, they were gay. Gay for killing. And you better be gay yeah. for killing. Starting right now, mister. Exactly. All right. And he would have said, drop and give me 20. And by that, I mean there's 10 other soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, joining us online, we got Chris. Chris, you got a troll story for us? What's going on, buddy? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Uh, 
kind of in line with yours, Brian. Uh, oh, wow. I can see my... I'm watching on a 40 I know. You know what? I'll just pause or mute the Ustream. It'll go a lot better. Or just close your eyes and your ears and just or do stop this. stop freaking just out. Tell stop your whole story out. like this. Don't worry. Just, just, no worries. No worries. No. Just tell your story like this. Don't, don't worry. Very Everything's going great. Everything's going great. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, right, what do you got? Go Please. for it. Yeah, so I was playing uh, Left 4 Dead 4 uh, a few years ago, and I just Whoa, got my Whoa, Left 4 Dead 4? In the four oh, years sorry, not Left 4 Dead 4, I mean Dead or Alive 4. Go ahead, Wow, go ahead. wow, this is falling apart! You're doing really? terrible! <laughs> <laughs> no, you're I was doing, playing with my friends, and, you know, fun. we're not very good at the game, so we're playing against, you know, probably the same people playing against Brian in, uh, in Left 4 Dead. And so we bring down the level all the way down to, like, level D, which is kind of our level. Level and we get to about, probably about 13-year-old kids, and, you know, here we're all in our 20s. And the one time I win, and I just yell out over the Xbox Live, take that, you little bitches. And then everyone just left the room. It was just me. So, so this is an interesting case. This is a case where he did what, what you and I would consider a very minor infraction, but did not consider the level of the people involved, and they absolutely lost it. Pat, chat room is already making a, uh, they're already making a description about it. But, but I mean, did he, did he cross a line? Was this really trolling at all? Pope Justin Robert Young. Congratulations, sir. Oh, uh, this Yeah. This no, is really I'm the sorry, only like, way I watch Holy you. crap! <laughs> Holy crap! Look at that! That's our show on a TV! Did you? We got a TV show! Did you know we were on the TV? <laughs> we're on the TV <laughs> now! Look at that! <laughs> That's amazing! Dude, this is epic! We hit the big time, bro! I didn't Bye -bye. even know that! Bye -bye. Oh my god, that's awesome. All right. Uh, no, here's the thing. Brian and uh, what's your name? B Bespectacle uh, Possible Troll? <laughs> Bespec <laughs> Bespect I think that's his given name. It's Bespectacled Possible Troll. They call him, they call him, uh, <laughs> B uh, BBT. Listen, BBT, <laughs> um, you know, you didn't do, uh, let me, let me point this out. And there was a differentiation between some of the other absolutions we've given in this one. Other absolutions, people have either been righteous or hilarious, or it's something that I have personally done so I can't pass judgment. For you, you didn't really do anything great. We didn't do anything bad. You know, it was their fault, not yours. So I think your, your infraction was lame and minor. So therefore you gain absolution, but not because you did anything good. You just didn't do anything bad. Yeah. That's like saying, uh, uh, can I get an absolution for being a troll because, uh, well, I drove my car to work yet last Thursday, and it was the, the fake Sabbath for my made-up religion. <laughs> and, and the folks just What? Like, <laughs> you know, like he made up a religion in his mind, and Thursday this was the ridiculous. Sabbath. <laughs> Thursday was the Sabbath for the made-up religion that he was on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, appreciate it, Chris, man. Have a good one. We're going to drop you off the line. All right, you got any more for us, or are we wrapping this show up? Uh, listen. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more uh, that just came in. I want to see if it's any good. Yeah, all right. Now, this is another one of those, like, live ones. And they got to be online, folks. Here's the thing. Especially when we're first doing the bit, like, you know, we got to keep it in in line so people know what to do next time we're really setting this bit up because it will be back because i think it's gone pretty well right no Brian? i think that, look and and as people got it as they got the stories and you know what really turned it around was the first time somebody actually earned an absolution from 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 the pope that that's when really stuff started to, to ramp on up so now that people can oh know, my god we have we have a, a late a, a minute thing hold on <laughs> wait late, a minute a late minute thing you say Hold on. Yes! No a way! Whole new world! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome! Oh my god! That's awesome. Oh my god, that's too awesome. 
<laughs> well done, sir. Boy, I'm not going to beat that. That's for damn sure. Uh, I no, say we end no, on a high listen, note. And that was from Chad Ochocinco, whose production hasn't <laughs> fallen off at all since TJ Hushmanzada went to the uh, Seahawks. It really deserves a lot of uh, a lot of credit for that, as well as this whole Abu thing. Uh, I haven't seen Abu. If you have, please make sure that he returns to the Aladdins, who are currently listen, storming the second life sex palace. If you found balance. Abu, give him back to me. If not... CPIA. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, you gotta, you gotta make that happen. All right, look, I'm gonna the wrap it up now. The Pennsylvania Institute of Astrology awaits. <laughs> I'm, we're doing so well. I'm gonna wrap it up on a high note now. We'll stick around for the after show, and of course, we'll be doing the uh, rapid rare. fire. What do you want to do? Yeah, that's a, instead of running this into the ground as, as our usual <laughs> mo. By the way, if you didn't see our Houdini seance, it's on the iTunes feed. So head on over to uh, just just look up BB Live Show, BB Live Show on iTunes, and you'll be able to see the last episode that we did a special on Halloween night with Weird Things and just Robert Young. And uh, this episode, of course, you can see all the episodes in glorious high definition. But I think we about nailed this episode as far as figuring out who is and is not a troll. What do you want to plug, Mr. Justin Robert Youngerston? Uh, as Brian mentioned, we have the Houdini Seance. We're doing Carl Sagan Day live on WeirdThings.com. The live streams never stop. Weird doesn't sleep, and neither do we. Uh, so please check it out. It's going to be an awesome event. Also, uh, we had some very, very special stuff. Brian, do you remember a movie named uh, 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 called Mallrats? Mallrats? If, if you, uh, yeah. Do you remember uh, a movie called Mallrats? Y- yes, I do. Why, what are you about to say about Mallrats? Uh, do you remember a scene... Uh, uh, involving a stink palm? Uh, you know, I don't, but but maybe that's because I never saw the movie. I remembered the movie, but I never saw the movie. But apparently, I'm there's sure, a stink I'm palm. sure, I'm sure people might. Uh, a, a man on the on the uh, receiving end of that stink palm might play a very important role in Weird Things next week. We're working I on that as we I don't even know what that means, but I'm intrigued. But by the way, make sure to check out uh, WeirdThings.com podcast because uh, I show up on there along with. Justin yes. Robert Young, uh, and of course moderated by. Uh, oh wait, we got Andrew last minute. Main, the last minute, Dodd Vickers. Real quick, you got to go fast. What do you got for us, buddy? We're wrapping up. I have never been a troll, but I wanted to call in and pump my new website, reallyweirdthings.com. Go! Oh! Who this man? Who this man? All right, get out of here, Dodd Vickers. He's cackling as he gets the hell out of here. Uh, by the way, don't forget to check out Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. We're going to learn some cool stuff involving playing with fire. Uh, anything else for us, Justin Robert Young? we got to wrap things up. Follow uh, at WeirdThingsCom on Twitter, at Justin R. Young on Twitter. I love all of you. I love most of you, which is probably a lot of them are the same people that he loves. But that's it for me. I'm Brian Brush with this is the BB Live Show. We'll catch you guys next time. All right, you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, the bad news. Bad news is I clicked it three times, but nothing I could do could cause Ustream to start recording the episode. So we don't have the Ustream thing. But we do have the local oh. recording. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop it right now and save it while it's still good. Thank you very much, iTunes. Good Stick idea. around, and uh, we'll figure out a way to get this up on... We'll have to do. We'll have to post this to Vidler and put it up on the site, which is something we've been meaning to do anyway for a long time. So, uh, chat room, thank you guys so much. Uh, let me hit stop here.